So you're tired of vanilla Minecraft and you want to spice things up with mods. Well, thankfully, I've got the solution just for you. Let's first step into Curse Forge. I got the link down in the description. And you're going to want to start by clicking on this download standalone. Alternatively, there's other options as well, depending on your operating system. So don't worry about that. Just select whatever works for you, but avoid this button called Curse Forge on Overwolf. Additionally, over here, download on Overwolf. You don't need Overwolf to add mods, so we're just going to download the standalone version. Once you've got that installed, go ahead and open it up. You can go through this process here of installing it, clicking next, accepting the terms and conditions. Then it'll install the latest version of Curse Forge. It should open up Curse Forge and it'll show the initial home screen for Curse Forge, which will show all the moddable games that you have. And in this case, we're going to select Minecraft. At first, you won't have any mod packs available here. That's fine. We can go and create one on the top left here. Press create and here a new pop-up window will show. Go ahead and name your profile. Select the game version that you want. It doesn't matter what game version any game version it could be as low as 1.1 or as high as the latest version for the first part of this tutorial we're going to select forge i'll get to fabric in a bit as well as quilt in neo forge when you select forge you'll be able to change the forge version i would stick with the latest version it's usually the most stable it'll do its thing for a little bit and then eventually you'll be ready to add mods all right so we're good to go now and we can go and select mods make sure it is selected usually it will click on add more content and here is where the fun begins this is where all the mods that are available for your version of minecraft as well as forge you'll see the filters here at the very top if you want to add more filters you can go and select this button here filters click that and you'll see that you can scroll down to categories open that up and you'll see loads of different minecraft categories from add-ons to food magic education and i could select food for instance and i'll get mods specifically in the food category technically i could end this video here but i want to show you a few mods that are going to really help for performance especially since if you add a bunch of mods to your minecraft game it's going to damage the performance and things are going to move a lot slower you're going to get lag the first mod i would suggest clumps it's very simple it clumps xp orbs together to reduce lag go ahead and install that you just click the install button and it'll add to your minecraft mod pack if you want to go back you can click this x alternatively this little arrow at the top this will take you back and here you could see the list of mods that you have installed currently we only have one mod let's add a few more entity culling while you have selected forge you can install mods that do say fabric and forge some mods are compatible for both so occasionally you'll see things like fabric slash forge or forge slash fabric this mod uses async path tracing to hide tiles slash entities that are not visible in simpler terms it stops rendering entities when you're not looking at them we can install that as well now the last performance mod i want to show you is sodium you can see that when i search up sodium nothing shows up but if i remove this 1.21.5 version filter you could see sodium is right here this is because some of the mods don't get updated to the latest version right away 1.21.5 is fairly new so it makes sense that it's not here but if you have an earlier version of minecraft you'll be able to use sodium no problem just know that if you search up a mod such as oculus for example if it doesn't show in the search results it doesn't mean it's not available for forge you can always uncheck this version filter and we can see we're still filtered for forge and oculus shows up we just can't download it okay pretty simple we're gonna head back and create another profile this time fabric once again we're gonna leave it to the latest version when you first click on any of these you will see it has a recommended version you can see the latest version is 16.4 14, but the mod loader version it selected was 16.13. I'm sure it's because 14 has a lot of bugs or it's possibly unstable, but I'm sure overall it's just fine. So I'm going to select it. We can hit create again. And here for fabric, you'll see fabric API shows up in the mods list. This is because fabric needs fabric API to work. It is essential for any mods whatsoever to work. So right off the bat, you could tell fabric is a little different than forge. Let's select add more content in the default list of mods. You could see there is a different list of mods some are familiar like controlling and clumps mouse tweaks as well but we could see apple skin cloth config api gecko lib so debatably fabric has more mods and has better mods than forge i mentioned sodium before and if we look that up you could see it is available for fabric but you could tell at the top 1.21.5 
is the Minecraft version. As we saw before, when we had the filter set to Forge, it wasn't available for 1.21.5. Both Fabric and Forge are great, but I find that Fabric has a stronger community, so mods are going to get updated a lot faster. I've mentioned Sodium as well as Sodium Dynamic Lights before in a previous video about how to install shaders. If you're interested in that, check out the link down in the description. Okay, let's move on and create another profile, this time Quilt. Now, I haven't used Quilt in years, to be honest, and it's kind of a forgotten mod loader, but let's create that. If we select add more content and say we wanted to search up something like Sodium, you could see it's actually available to install, very similar to Fabric and unlike Forge. Let's try another, say Clumps. This time, Clumps is not available. In fact, when I uncheck the 1.21.5 filter, Clumps still doesn't show up. The only time it does is when I uncheck Quilt, revealing it here. You can always select a mod and inside you'll be able to see which versions are compatible. We could see the mod loader versions of Forge, Fabric, and Neo Forge, but not Quilt. You could see the Minecraft versions starting from 1.21.5 all the way to, well, plus 16 other versions. So unfortunately, Quilt does not have a whole lot of mods that are compatible. It's got some cool mods. I mean, we've got Explorify, for instance. It adds a bunch of new structures. Villager names, which gives villagers new names, simple as that, and even Terralith, which is a world generation mod. So Quilt isn't bad, you just won't find as many popular mods as you would for Forge and Fabric. Finally, Neo Forge. If you look here in the mod loader version, you could see every single mod loader version says beta at the very end. This is because Neo Forge is fairly new, I'd say about a year or two in development, and really what it does is it tries to mock Fabric while still using Forge mods. So let's create that. This time when we select add more content, you could see mods like Apple Skin, which we saw that in Fabric, not Forge though, as well as Cloth Config API. One mod that is never available for Forge is Iris Shaders. Iris Shaders is only compatible with Fabric, but it's also compatible with Quilt and Neo Forge. If we look up Oculus, we won't find it at all here. However, when you uncheck the Minecraft version, you can see it actually is available. You can see Oculus is available for Neo Forge and Forge, while Iris is available for Neo Forge, Fabric, and Quilt. So this is just a perfect example that Neo Forge is a nice mix between both Forge and Fabric. So if you want both Forge and Fabric mods, Neo Forge is the best option for you. Just know that some errors might occur because it is still in the beta stage. Not every mod is compatible with Neo Forge, so just keep that in mind. Now you have become a pro at creating your own Minecraft mod packs. But what if you want to discover someone else's? Still inside the Minecraft tab, you can click on this Discover tab, and here it'll bring you a page full of loads of new content. This will show you the latest mods, the latest mod packs. You'll find popular and trending mod packs, mods, and resource packs. But what if you want to download one of these? Take a look at this set bonus mod. Looks pretty cool. Let's install that. And here you can create a new profile or select one. If I click select a profile, I'll be given the list of mod packs I've made and only the ones that are compatible will be at the top. So if you don't find your mod pack in the compatibles list, you may have to create a new profile or move on to a different mod. In addition to the discover page, you can check out the browse page and here you'll find specifically mod packs. Well, you can also switch to mods, resource packs, shaders, and worlds, but I like to stick with just mod packs. Here you'll find a list of mod packs that are truly amazing, handcrafted by different creators around the world. The last page is servers, but we won't get into that. And if you did enjoy the video, leave a like and subscribe for more Minecraft content like this.